Today, Dave Franklin has invited me to check out one of his jobs here on the Gold Coast. And I'm super excited as I'm about to meet one of Australia's greatest sporting legends. I'm at the home of two-time Bathurst winner and V8 supercar champion, Mr. Russell Ingle. Let's just say I'm a huge fan. Let's just see if his garden is a winner too. Mate, this yeah. looks amazing. Yeah, this I know, yeah. I know. Well, mate, this is what attracted us to the place. You know, when we came here, and look, it needed a massive reno, but as soon as I came out here, stood in this spot, I went, wow. It's hard to believe what was here before. A run down and daggy 25-year-old GC shocker, but with amazing potential especially out here by the pool area overlooking the canal. Luckily, Russell knew exactly who to call. When Russell gave me the phone call, I was not ready for how much work that had to be done. Really? It was, it was massive. massive. It, yeah. it was massive, but you know, inside, so we completely ran out inside, but I knew what I wanted there, or we knew what we wanted. But outside, I was like, man, what do I do with this? Because it was split level, there was stuff going on everywhere. And you so, thought, this yeah. must be a job for Dave Franklin. That's yeah. it. Who loves hard work? No. Dave Franklin. <laughs> That's I'll not look. my experience, I'll be yeah. <laughs> All jokes aside, there couldn't be a better person for the job than Dave, who got to work on a design that would take the area to the next level. Russell, who was nearing the end of his racing career at the time, took on the challenge of project managing the renovation. I sent all the photos to him. He came up, scoped it out, and he said, right, this is what I think you should do. And I looked at it and went, what, are you serious? Dave's design worked with the levels to section the spaces into zones, each with the perfect view from every area. So Dave, the idea behind these levels was to create zones? Yeah, it was. You've got one section over there, which I say is the floating pod, and that's you know, more the adults area. This is more the kids area. And you know, basically what we see is this is like a great platform up on the top that overlooks everything. In every good landscape is a nice platform garden and that's what we've done here. And the easeability about walking around everything and the functionality really works. The curved theme throughout came from the original kidney shaped pool which was retiled and souped up. And I'm loving this deck, it's very rare that you see a painted deck. Yes, I Some know. Some chippies might say it's blasphemy. But I reckon, it, I reckon it looks great. Well, as I said, to, it was easy for me in Melbourne ringing Russell and saying, look, just paint it white. It is a bold move. I knew it would work. And it, as you can see, it just gives you a really clean look. And I like black and white. I yep. like charcoal and white. It's just a thing I've got to make. I, I just really like those colours. That's the race car driver. That's the race car, yeah. yeah. So this, this was the hardest part of the whole job here. As you can see, it doesn't look simple at all. We've got curves at the So many curves. And it's hard to believe that this is three years old. I mean, that's probably a testament to, to you and your OCD. But it looks yeah. amazing. It looks like the day it was built. Yeah, yeah. well, that's just that's the trouble being in motorsport because everything has to be perfect. You know, everything has to be shiny, new, yeah. not a little bit out of the way. That's not a good thing up to a point. <laughs> yeah. But when you appreciate something like this, when you get a design that's so good, and you look at it and go, man, you don't mind looking after it. That's one of the key things for you is obviously longevity in the paving as well. Being travertine was a softer stone, so we did have to get prestige surfaces in to work out exactly what steel are and what protection we needed for the paving. So they come in and as you can see now, three years old, it still looks like it's brand new from the day that we put it in. Mate, geez, after such a big day and you give us such a big beer, what's going on what's here? Oh, look, sorry guys, but I've heard a few rumours about you two and I don't want you hanging around all night, so oh, <laughs> at least you can drink real quick and get the hell out no, of here. No. <laughs> no, no, it's been a pleasure, guys. It's been, uh, been great having you around, and, uh, and thanks, Dave. Well, I reckon it's kudos it. to both of you. You know, Dave, yep. you know, you always come up with the gold on your design, and Russ, mate, for you to project manage such a full-on build is amazing, especially for someone who's not in the industry. Well, it's good, and, and the good thing about it is, lucky um, when I was doing this, uh, I was coming to the end of my supercars career, so I had a bit of time on my hands as well. Uh, but it's fun, yeah, and you know what it's like. You know, it's just, it's actually cool. It you is, know? Yeah. And I actually really, really enjoy doing it, and uh, especially you enjoy the outcome of it, you know. So you can sort of sit back and go on, yeah, I had a hand in this. So well, that's the best cool. part of any build, is moments like yeah, this yeah. where you sit back and you go, well, that was worth it. Absolutely, yeah. couldn't agree more. Nice work. Cheers, Cheers guys. Boys. <laughs> well. As night fell, Russell couldn't get us to leave. What a spot to take it all in. Yep, still here. This garden really comes into its own as the sun goes down and the lights go on. <laughs>